So now in this video we're going to use the uh, NAND logic gate to make a different logic gate again. Last video we made an inverter or NOT gate out of a NAND logic gate by tying together the input. So that circuitry is still there as is other than now I moved the jumper to the output of a different NAND gate up here. So this is working just as a NAND gate. Um, but if you take a NAND gate output and you invert it, you end up with an AND gate because the AND gate is the inverted version of the NAND gate and vice versa. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I covered uh, pretty much all the topics that I could cover over there in earlier videos. So we're just going to come to uh, the demonstration circuit. So output is high right now. Both inputs are high. I actually meant to uh, have them both low. Let's do that. Let's start with low. So you can see as long as uh, one of them is low, then the output is low. Doesn't matter um, which one is low. As long as at least one is low, the output is low. If we have, right now this is floating, it's picking up stray signals in the air. So from the AC current in the house. So it's uh, going high and low rapidly. That's why they are uh, flickering rapidly. So something to be aware of for this demonstration circuit. So now we got them both high and uh, the output's high. You can see that end goes to ground, so the output has to be high, has to be as close to the positive supply as uh, the 74HC00 will provide. Well, it's powering an LED. So, basically, if uh, we come across a schematic diagram that says uh, use a 74HC08, uh, one of the logic gates, but uh, for some reason we want to use the uh, NAND gate version, the 74HC00 instead, we can uh, simply do that uh, with uh, the circuit that you can see here. So, in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.